Hey all, welcome back and Merry Christmas. If there's one thing that's been very clear over the last couple decades, it's that the Democrat Party is becoming increasingly far left and increasingly supportive of far left ideologies like communism and socialism. All you have to do is check some recent polls to see that Democrats are more and more supportive of socialism or communism, especially the younger they are. I still remember being in college and my mind being blown at the fact that so many students openly supported socialism. Now look where we are with things like equality, for example, no longer being talked about. Now what do you hear? It's all about equity, which is government enforced outcomes. That brings us to Senator Blumenthal, most known for his stolen valor lies about fighting in Vietnam, which he never did, who was invited to speak at an event that's been openly communist for years. Oh, this is a beautiful tribute from all of our labor leaders honoring how important the Communist Party is in our movement. Um, not just in Connecticut, but across the whole world. Senator Richard Blumenthal is here to be part of the awards today and to share some appreciations and recognition of the awardees. Thank you so much. Uh, I am really excited and honored to be with you today and to share this remarkable occasion. Now turning our attention to economic equity, this agenda requires us all to work together to making sure that in 2022 we re-elect Democrats in the Congress and elect more of them because that's going to be key to making sure that we have an equitable, fair, just America. All right, folks, we're going to get right into this. But first, just give me 30 seconds for this quick capitalism break so I can tell you about this free coin offer. Now, something's not adding up, is it? Stocks are at record highs, but the government just borrowed $5 trillion. Inflation is transitory, but it just went up to 6.8%. How much did your wages go up? Gas? Electricity? A precious metals IRA with Noble Gold will help you to avoid the worst of this. And this month, Noble Gold is giving away a free America the Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. Start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Just make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Oh, this is a beautiful tribute from all of our labor leaders honoring how important the Communist Party is in our movement, um, not just in Connecticut, but across the whole world. Senator Richard Blumenthal is here to be part of the awards today and to share some appreciations and recognition of the awardees. Thank you so much. Uh, I am really excited and honored to be with you today and to share this remarkable occasion. Now turning our attention to economic equity, this agenda requires us all to work together. Imagine being an elected Democrat and feeling completely comfortable in speaking at a communist event. These are the very same people that say it's a right-wing conspiracy theory to say that the Democrat party has turned socialist. They couldn't possibly call this a right-wing conspiracy theory, right? I mean, we have video of them speaking at the event. <laughs> Yes, of course! Of course! A known liar insists he didn't know it was a communist event. According to this local paper, it's all just a bunch of right-wing conservative Republican bluster. After receiving increasing criticism by Republicans and conservative national media outlets, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal said Friday that he would not have attended a recent award ceremony if he had known it had been tied to the Communist Party. Uh Oh, spaghetti -os. Right, right. I'm sure that everybody would be accepting of that if a Republican accidentally spoke at a Nazi rally. But you see what they did there. In the very first sentence of the story, they poisoned the well by suggesting that it's just a bunch of crazy right-wingers. My understanding was that this ceremony was strictly a labor event. If I had known the details, I wouldn't have gone. Let me just say very emphatically, I am a Democrat and a strong believer in the American capitalism. Is that right? You had no idea that it was a communist event. Even though this event has been openly communist for a long time. Even though the award itself is presented as an award for advancing the communist agenda in America. You know, it's not a coincidence that every time CCP spies target American politicians, it's always a Democrat. Democrats like Eric Swalwell that got caught banging CCP spies like Fang Fang. If you're such a staunch capitalist, 
capitalist, then why did you say this at the event? There's a lot to be working for in economic justice and racial equity in establishing a $15 minimum wage. Blumenthal went on to praise the communists and their quote, great tradition of activism. So you're a staunch capitalist, but you want communists to continue their activism. To what end? Obviously, they're continuing their activism because someday they want to replace capitalism in America with communism. <laughs> I mean, folks, they really think they're pulling one over on us here. We know Democrats want a socialist America. All of their policies are pushing us in that direction. And then when it comes to their media mouthpieces, they're constantly out there trying to rationalize it. Or that Democrats should be deceitful about it so that Americans don't know that they're pushing socialism. Trying to say, well, these women are socialists. That's what people should be ups upset about. That's what the president should be talking about. They're socialists. Do you think that Democrats are making a mistake tactically because you're a strategist of allowing themselves to be branded as socialists, not coming up with some sort of new name. Do you think that 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 they're winning, uh, that Republicans are winning in that kind of branding exercise? All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and then let me know what you think in the comments.